Hi everybody, today we've got a special guest joining us in our journey into how to multiply integers on a number line. But before we start, I have to show you something really important I don't want the monkey to hear. You see, down there, beside each number, I've got these negative symbols covered up. I don't want him to see them because he's never seen them before and I don't want him to get scared early on. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to cover these up, and you're going to pretend like I said nothing at all. Nothing. Good monkey. You know what? This monkey, he already knows how to multiply regular numbers on a number line. That's not new to him. Like the stuff... <laughs> hey, we got to keep secrets away from the monkey. Great. Let's keep going on with this program now. <laughs> so this monkey, he knows how to multiply regular numbers um, on a number line. You see, for example, he knows that the multiplication symbol means groups of. Except in his language, he doesn't call it groups. He prefers to call it hops because he likes to jump he likes to hop so it's he knows reading this that he has to hop two hops and there has to be three numbers under each hop so what does it look like it looks like this he knows that he's got to start at zero he's got to hop two times and look lo and behold there are three numbers under each hop to get him to the answer which is positive six he knows how to do that you know what else he knows how to do he knows how to do three times four if it was three times four, he knows that three hops is what he needs to do. And there has to be four numbers under each hop. So then it would look like this. Start at zero, hop, three times four, three hops. Second hop to eight. Third hop goes to 12. He knows how to do that. You know what he doesn't know? He doesn't know that behind him is a world he has never seen before called the negative numbers. Think of this as like, a negative world like bad things happen in this world which is good because as a little kid you, you want to expose him to the good things in life first and then let him find this stuff out but there's a reason why he's never even accidentally landed there it's because he was never given the skills to get there in the first place you see all he's been taught up to this point is that no matter what he has to look forwards he has to face this direction the right side don't ever look left, look right. So he's never had to look the other way. Also, he's never been taught anything other than to jump forwards. So he knows that he's got to always hop forwards. Because he's been taught these two things, there is no way that he could have landed in the blue zone, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to teach him how to get to this side of the number line. There's going to be two ways of him of doing that. One way is the obvious way. Just teach him how to jump backwards. Teach him how to go backwards. Say, monkey, I want you to jump backwards. So he goes like this. He goes, hop, hop. That's a backward hop. He can conveniently even moonwalk it if he wants. That's fine. As long as he goes backwards. That's a new skill. He just learned it. We infused it into him. But there's a second way of getting into this zone without having to jump backwards. Can you guess what it is? without jumping backwards and still get to this side. If you guessed teaching him how to face the other direction, yes, that would be it. Face left, monkey. <gasps> That's the first time he's ever done that. He's never done this before, facing the left side. This is new territory. This is excellent, exciting business. Now, though, there's a problem in that we can't call this backwards anymore. Because if you're facing this way and you're walking this way, that is not backwards, that is walking forwards. So we have to switch this. Backwards would be now moonwalk, and if he was to moonwalk, he would have to go this way. That would be backwards. So backwards and forwards is all relative to the direction that you're facing. Now, if you understand this concept here, we can get f straight into business and do some equations. I'm going to show you how this stuff is built. But before that, let's just make sure the monkey's got this training under underway and he's doing it properly. And you help him out too. See if you can get the right answers. Let's tell the monkey to do a set of instructions. Let's say we combine face left with go backwards. Let's see if he does it right. Okay, monkey, face left. Monkey faces left. Is that right? Looks good to me. He's doing it properly. Now go backwards. Good job, monkey. Okay, he's got that one down. Let's see if he can get a couple more down. How about if I mix, uh, let's mix some, let's see if we can really get him with this one. 
Which way would he move? Face left. Okay, he's doing it. Looks good. Go forward, monkey. Good job. Okay, he looks, sounds good. I'm ready now to show this monkey the symbols. I think he's okay now. Now with these symbols, guys, check it out. Monkey looks at these symbols and all he sees is two negatives. So monkey brain probably tells him that these negatives mean the same thing. Negative and negative probably means the same thing. It doesn't mean the same thing. This negative and that negative mean totally different things. This negative here tells him which direction to face, either left or right. How do we know which way to face? Face right if it's positive, face left if it's negative. It's a negative, we gotta face left. But if it was say a positive two, then we would have to face right. So forget the two, just look at the symbol. It tells you the direction of face. This would be a positive direction. This would be facing the negative direction. So that's what this symbol tells us. The second symbol tells us which way to jump, jump forward or jump backwards. So we can say either jump forward or jump backwards. How do we know which one it is? You got to jump forward if it's a positive and you got to jump backwards if it's a negative. In this case, it's a negative. So we would have to reveal the Joe, the, the, the jump backwards one. But if it was say a positive three, then we wouldn't jump backwards. We would have to jump forwards. Okay, so know the difference there. I'm going to leave these here just so you can take a look at them. You can write down some notes, whatever you got to do. This is going to be key to doing any of these questions. So this here tells us the direction to face. And this one tells us the direction to jump. Okay, so keep those in mind. Let's get some practice down. Let's go with two positive numbers. Let's go positive two times positive three. Let's take a look at the symbols. Actually, you know what? Ignore the symbols. Look at this. Two hops of three. We know he's got to hop two times. There's got to be three numbers under each hop. Okay, let's forget about that for a second. We know that what that means. Let's go on to the symbols now. What does that tell him to do? Tells him to face the right direction. It's a positive. So we're going to throw him here on the zero facing right. That tells him to go backwards. No, not backwards. Tells him to go forwards because it's a positive. So now he knows which way he's got to jump two hops of three. What does it look like? It looks like the first question I showed you. It looks like hop, hop, and you get positive six. But what if I switched one of the numbers around and uh, not even the number, just the symbol. How about if I made this one a negative three? Does that one change? No. Does the two times three change? Ignore the symbols. It's still two hops of three. Monkey knows he's got to hop two times with three in each, each hop. He just doesn't know which way to go, which way to face yet. So let's help him out. Monkey, which way do you face? Monkey says it's a positive, so he's got to face right. Monkey's right. But now he looks at this and he says, well, I can't jump forward because it's a negative. So I'm going to have to jump with my new style, the moonwalk. I got to go backwards. So now I got to put this down. I got to teach monkey to make two jumps of three backwards. He's facing this way, which way is backwards? That way. So monkey goes hop, hop, and he gets the negative six. That's going to be our answer, negative six. Well, what if I switched this symbol? What if I made this negative and I made this one positive? How does that change things? Let's take a look. If that's a negative two and that's a positive three, ignore the symbols. It still says two hops of three. Monkey still has to hop twice with three under each hop. That part is good. But now the symbols will change things a little bit. See, take a look at this symbol. That tells him to face right or left, left. Why? Because it's a negative. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to put left. So monkey now, he's facing the correct direction. But which way does he hop? Does he hop forwards or does he hop backwards? This one will tell us to hop forwards. Why forwards? Because it's a positive. You see that? There's two kind of uh, strategies we're looking at here. So now, which way does he go? Which way is forward if you're facing this way? Forward would be that way. So nothing really changes. He's still going to hop one, two, and land on the same number. The answer stays the same. How about the third one here, or the fourth one? What if they're both negatives? How does that affect things? 
Let's get rid of that one. I think you understand this, right? I don't have to keep that hops on. I can get rid of it. Okay, let's get rid of it. How does this change things? Okay, well, look, it's still two hops of three. That doesn't change. But look at the symbols now. Which way does he face? Left. Okay, let's put him facing left. Which way does he jump? Not forwards. Nope. Has to hop backwards. Okay, so, oh man, how does this work here? You're facing left and you got to hop backwards. Yep, this is going to be backwards for him. Look what side he's going on now. He's going this way. He's hopping backwards, hopping backwards. Gets to positive six again. See how this stuff works? I think we're ready to play a guessing game. You want to play a guessing game or you want to do one more practice? One more practice? Okay, let's do one more practice. Let's change this into a three and change that one to a four. You know what? How about we make this um, a negative three? Actually, I don't know where my negative three is. Let's make a positive three. Let's keep it like that. Positive three times negative four. What is that going to make? Get monkey ready. Monkey gets set up. Which way does he face? Does he face right or does he face left? It's a positive. Does he face left? No. Got to face right. Does he go forward or backwards? Backwards. Okay, so that part is good. Now, how many jumps does he have to make? Three hops. Three hops of four. Going which way? Backwards. Okay, which way is backwards? This way. So we'll get our thing ready. We'll say, here you go, monkey. Start jumping backwards. Which way does he face again? This way or this way? I forgot. This way. Why? It's a symbol. Okay, go ahead, monkey. Jump backwards. One jump. Two jumps. Three jumps with four numbers under each one. Monkey gets the answer is negative 12. Awesome job, guys. That's how you do this stuff. You want to play guessing game? Let's do it right now. Let's play the guessing game. Here's how you play the guessing game. I'm going to give you a bunch of bumps on a number line. You have to tell me what the equation is. That's how you play the guessing game. So I'm going to tell you right now, there's two equations for each one. So look at this one here. How can we get this equation? Let's think of some options here. First off, let's even ignore um, these positive and negative symbols. Let's see if we could do it without that. If we were to take a look at these here and say ignore symbols, how many jumps, how many jumps would that be? How many hops would that be? It would be one, two, three, four hops. So we can say four hops, four hops. That's four hops. How many numbers under each hop? Three. Forget the negatives. Just say three. Now we throw the symbols in. How can we do it? I'm going to write it again over here because there are two ways of doing this. Look at the first one. One way to get the monkey over here is to have him face right first. If you're facing right, then this number has to be a positive. But if he's facing the right, he can't jump forward and get to here. He's going to have to jump backwards, so we're going to make this number the negative. But there's another way to get there. So this is one equation, right? This is one equation. And of course, the answer is negative 12. But the second equation is, what if he was facing left well, then that one would be the negative and this one would have to be what a positive you know why because now he has to go forwards right second number tells us which way to jump that's going to be forwards excellent here's our second equation guessing game question number one is done let's move on to question number two which is over here Give me two equations that work for this. One way, um, actually, you know what? Let's forget the monkey. Let's just write two, two numbers. Forget the symbols. Two hops. So we'll write two times. Each hop has, count the numbers, five and five. So two times five. And we'll write two times five again here. Which way is we going to face? Well, we can make the monkey face right. So that would be positive. Monkey, if he's facing right, he has to jump forwards. So then we'll make this one a positive as well. And we've got our first equation set up. 
But there's a second option in that what if the monkey now, he's learning new tricks. He's facing left. If he's facing left, how can he get here? By jumping backwards. So facing left is a negative. This is the facing left side. Jumping backwards is going to be this number. It's also going to be negative. We've got our second equation down. So what do we do if we have no monkey and no number line, but we still got to solve it with number lines? How do we do it? First, we read the question. It says two times six. Ignore the symbols. Just remember, two times six means two hops, six numbers under each hop. But what symbol is this now? Let's take a look at the symbols. That's going to be a positive. How do I know that? Because there's nothing there. So we assume it's a positive value. Draw your number line. Plot your zero down. And now continue to hop. But which way do we hop? Well, this here tells the monkey to face right. So if we had a monkey, we can imagine him facing this way, but this tells him to jump backwards. So if you're facing this way and you jump backwards, you're going this way, two hops of six. So now we can make our two hops. Just go ahead, make two hops. Keep it simple, guys. And then how many numbers under each hop? Six. So if we're on this side though, six numbers is going to be negative six, right? Because this is the negative side. And then another six numbers would get us to negative 12. Our answer is going to be negative 12. We've shown it on the number line clearly and we're done. Question number two, three times negative five. Draw your number line. Put your zero down. Which way do we have to hop? Monkey looks at this and he says, okay, I got to face the new direction left. And then I've got to hop backwards. So face left, hop backwards. You're going this way, three hops of five. So we're going to make three hops. So just make three hops. Don't worry about the numbers yet. Just make three hops. And each hop has five numbers under it. So there's five numbers here from zero to five is going to be five numbers. Another five gets you to 10 and another five gets you to 15. 15 is our answer. Positive 15. Well done. Last question. We got this times that. Negative six multiplied by positive three. Draw your number line. Put your zero down. You're going to see why I put it so far on this side. It's because I know which way the monkey's going to be jumping. He's got to face left. He's facing this way. Then he's got to go forward. Monkey, monkey, where are you? I think monkey's gone. Monkey left. If the monkey's facing left and then he jumps forward, he's going to be jumping this way. So six hops of three that way. So make your six hops. Don't worry about your numbers. Just put your hops. Two, three. Four, five, count with me, baby, count, six, put your numbers down, three under each number, so going this way is going to be negative three, negative six, negative nine, negative 12, negative 15, and negative 18 is going to be our answer. Everybody, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you love this lesson as much as I love teaching it to you. I love teaching this stuff. And you know what, guys? If you found this stuff helpful, click the like button down below. Click the share button as well so you can share it with your friends and help them out a little bit too so they can benefit as well. And if there's a topic that's on your mind that you want me to maybe explain in a very visual manner, just write it in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get to it and make you a video. Otherwise, thank you so much. This was a lot of fun and I'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.